the tinker again. Um, this is the remnants of the sled. That's the motor. Um, it died. So we got this. We're going to stuff that motor in there. Did a little bit of work on it and pulled out this big electric motor. And we're, we're having a hard time attaching to that deal. And this is the thingy that goes inside of it. So we're going to try and get a sprocket to fit on that thing. Maybe to line up with that. Not 100% sure, but we've got to get a jack shaft in there and get everything worked out. For everything else, there's going to be a couple of barn doors made up. Um, there is, oh yeah, broom. You like the broom? Beautiful. Um, this over here, finally found myself a bar stool. If you remember that. If you look close, look at all that. Yet when I welded, I wasn't paying attention. Duh. I also got a chunk of maple to make for a bap. And what else is coming up? The battery that was in the sled originally when it wrecked. This is now a crack that's letting acid out and I fortunately am going to have to let it go. This motor right here is for a mini bike. The mini bike is basically being donated by a good friend that I met on Facebook and he is was originally put a gas powered motor on it. I will put in a picture of that bike here. So I think that is going to be a good match for us. Just spare angle iron we picked up on the farm. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what's going on. This guy here is going to be a beast. We cannot adjust the steering because the way that it works in with the whole front end. Um, we're going to have to move the seat up about two or three inches. That's going to give air all the way around for the motor, but it's also going to give us enough room for the top of the spark plugs so they're not trying to spark you in the butt. But I think this thing's going to be cool. Um, the, one, the other ones that I've seen online went pretty wicked. See, they hooked up this wheel here directly in here. Now, I'm not sure how they did that, if they had a gas-powered golf cart or, or what. But I'm going to do some research and figure out exactly how I can hook up that to a jack shaft, to a sprocket, and a chain right here. Hopefully some sort of uh, spring-loaded uh, tensioner. And hopefully we won't have any problems. I'm kind of just piggybacking off of what I've seen other people do and seeing if it's going to work for me. All right, everybody. Um, this is all I've got for the moment. Uh, please like, subscribe, throw in the comments if you have any opinions on, on, on any of the matters here. The, let me know what you think. Uh, if you've got any nifty tricks or if you've ever done this before, you've ever seen it done, throw me links in the, the description down below. Um, hook it up. I got nothing on this, so another adventure going in blind, right? Later.